comprehensive LC is uh, a multidimensional technique and uh, has uh, the most uh, famous uh, LCLC with the air cutting. Um, the both techniques are very uh, useful for uh, food analysis, uh, mainly because we deal with a very complex sample. And uh, then the difference between the two techniques uh, is that uh, we are using a kind of interface to transfer the components from the first column to the second column, but uh, the comprehensive approach is uh, more um, uh, adapted for very, very complex analysis. For example, if we have uh, uh, many peaks coeluded, uh, we can do comprehensive LC and separate uh, uh, as uh, first uh, in the first dimension and then to the second dimension. And the aim of comprehensive LC is to cut and continuously uh, release the component from the first column to the second column. So the entire sample is uh, uh, chromatography separated in both dimensions. So the advantage of this uh, technique is uh, mainly due to the peak capacity of the high peak capacity we, uh, we obtained. In fact, the name of comprehensive LC or LC time LC, the time mean like that we are separating in both dimensions the entire sample. And so um, this is very important when we have not only the analytes to separate, but also when we have a very big number of interfering components in the matrix, like in, the, in food. Uh, for sure there are some uh, disadvantages of the technique. Uh, uh, this is, uh, I must say, a little bit difficult to optimize uh, as compared to conventional LC. In fact, if we think that when we have only one stationary phase, we are not thinking if components are separated in the dimension or not, because uh, we have only one stationary phase. In comprehensive LC, the coupling of these two columns uh, must be very uh, um, uh, selected with very much accurate. And in fact, uh, uh, these two columns must be orthogonal. And the orthogonal means that uh, these two columns are to interact with the analytes in a different way. So better uh, uh, is this factor, so the orthogonality, made more peak we obtain in the 2D space. And also another disadvantage is that when we ask for a bigger orthogonality, normally we were thinking that completely two different mechanisms of separation. For example, normal phase and the reverse phase. But we know exactly that these two uh, technologies are not very compatible. And so we have to, uh, have to make some uh, tips uh, to optimize the separation. For example, one of these uh, is to use a, a narrow bore column, so the volume we transfer from the first column to the second column is very low, and uh, so even if we have uh, immiscibility of the solvent, uh, we can reduce this factor by transferring a very little uh, volume. And uh, the other disadvantage is that uh, because it's an online system, however, we can do also offline uh, comprehensive LC, but when we do uh, comprehensive online, the main problem is that the second dimension runtime must be very fast. And uh, that means that if we are using gradient in the second dimension, we need also in this very short time, that usually is one or two minutes, to recondition the column with the starting solvent. And uh, so that is one of the main uh, disadvantages of comprehensive LC.